to Chef's Choice with Citizens Gas. I'm Angela, and joining us today is Chef Mark Marler, executive sous chef from the Ocean Air Seafood Room, just a few steps from where we are right here in the beautiful city market, correct? Yep. Okay, and I'm really excited because today you're going to show us something to make that I had never heard of before. What are we making today? Halibut Cheeks Piccata. Halibut Cheeks Piccata. And yep. you're going to explain what that is for those of us who may not have cooked with halibut cheeks before, right? Sure. You may have had veal piccata or chicken piccata before. We're just using that prep and the halibut cheeks. And the halibut cheeks are actually the cheeks from the halibut, yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. So explain to me the ingredients we've got here. Uh, well, we've got our halibut cheeks, a little bit of wonder flour. Okay. Just to season with a little salt and pepper. All right. We've got some white wine, a little bit of chicken stock, and some capers, fresh lemon, whole butter, a little bit of chopped parsley. Some Parmesan crisp mm -hmm. that we've just taken fresh Parmesan and put it in the oven and made it crispy. Okay. And some uh, little crouton. So you already have got the pan going. As you can see, it's quite hot here. Yep. You want to get it smoking hot. Smoking hot, and you're going to add some oil. And a little olive oil. Now, why do you want it smoking hot like that? You're going to get a nice, crisp, hard sear on these cheeks. Okay. So it just looks like little tiny pieces of halibut right now, frankly. Yeah. Okay. Little different texture than the filet. And you're going to give it a thin coating of flour, right? Real thin. This is a wonder flour. Okay. Nice and thin, extra milled. Okay. And you're just going to toss it right in there in the hot oil. Yep. It kind of looked like you burnt your finger there. No? Nope. Okay. He's a professional. He can do that kind of thing. All right. So while those get started there, tell us what you like about cooking over natural gas. Uh, you can control the heat a lot more. Um, and with an electric range, uh, you, it's either rocking hot or not hot enough. You're right, and you're standing around waiting and waiting. Yeah. yeah. This, you put them in and they were like instantly going. Yep. Okay. So we just let those cook. How long yep. will that take? Uh, maybe two minutes on each side. You just want to get a nice golden brown sear on, on each side. So what should people expect, though, if they bite into a halibut cheek, if they've never had cheek before, as um, I have it, so today will be a first. It's got a consistency and a texture a little bit like chicken. <laughs> That's what people <laughs> say about everything. Yep, it's true. <laughs> Um, tastes like chicken. No, it doesn't taste like chicken, right? It no. tastes like consistency. It feels yep. like chicken. Okay, but well, I'm gonna take your word for it just for the next few minutes until it comes around for me to try it. Just gonna pull this off the flame. Okay. Add my white wine. <laughs> Get a little steamy in here. And my chicken stock. Okay. Then back well, on the heat. A little salt. Sprinkle a little coarse salt in there. Yep. A little fresh cracked black pepper. Now, is it really necessary to have a pepper grinder that big, or can people? Absolutely, <laughs> no way. Go well, big. I'll just use my little one at home if that's okay. <laughs> and capers. A little bit of caper. Now, capers are that's just like a little salty kind of. We're gonna add a little parsley. Little thing. It does a little saltiness. All right, what comes next? Next, a little bit of lemon. You want to give a fresh squeeze of lemon in there? Oh, sure. Now you've cut the you've kind of cut the center out so there's no seeds right. to get into your sauce, right? And just sprinkle it around in there. Do you want both of them? Sure. Okay. It smells great. Wow, that's kind of hot though. Okay. Now we're going to add some butter. This of is course. just going to thicken it. Oh, yeah, butter and everything. How much? <laughs> um, okay, so like a generous two tablespoons of butter. Sure. <laughs> All right. Or more if you're feeling inclined. You worked out extra long that day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is just going to take a minute to thicken. So you've let that cook for just another couple of minutes. How do you know when it's done? When the sauce looks kind of creamy like that? Yeah, the that. So sauce is going to thicken. All of your butter is melted. Remember, you can find Chef Mark's recipe for halibut cheeks piccata anytime. Just check it out at citizensgas.com. That looks beautiful. Look at that with the capers drizzled over. And now you're going to finish with the... Just a little crouton. And now it's time for the... Some parm crisps. Gorgeous. Ready to go. And now it's my turn to dive in, right? Go for it. Okay. All right, so while I do, my first ever taste of halibut cheeks. Um, tell us about the Ocean Air Seafood Group. We're located at 30 South Meridian, just one block south of the circle. Uh, we prize ourselves in fresh seafood that's flown in every day. Got so a great oyster flown bar. In yesterday or something? They, they were. They came in today. I pushed them this morning. Great. And I'm sorry, a fresh oyster bar and what else? Fresh oyster bar, nice lobster tank, nice. ultra fresh seafood. All right, it sounds great. And I have to say, that was delicious. I'm surprised. I never would have guessed that halibut cheeks could be so fantastic. Thank you. So thank you so much for coming by to show us how to make halibut cheeks piccata. That's it for us today. Remember, you can watch our episodes anytime. Just go to citizensgas.com or check us out at Comcast Video On Demand. Chef Mark, thank you again for thank coming you. by. It was nice my pleasure you. to have you here. That's all for us today. I'm Angela. We'll see you next time on Chef's Choice with Citizens Gas.